Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2, yeah to our very daunting uh, first project that we finished in the last episode, this uh, bridge here. Um, hopefully there's not a lightning coming down on us, um, because that could be very expensive. And yeah, we are back here in 1830s, so we still really haven't advanced that much uh, when it comes to the time, right? Um, however, of course, um, we still played a bit and this opens up something for us, and that is innovation points. And we can use them for some researching, for some unlocking of new tech, of new possibilities to expand our businesses and stuff like that. So we are down here in tier 1 still, right? Uh, we do have a couple of, well, I'd say upgrades that we can do here. Increases the number of passengers in all cities and also increases the ticket prices for passengers. Sounds good, but the percentages are rather low. So I would like to continue with uh, the iron fire tubes. Iron flame tubes made of iron make boilers cheaper and more durable than the previous copper versions. Decreases the price of new locomotives by 5%. Alright, let's take this one. Um, nothing else happens, right? So we do get, well, the decrease of price. Next up though on the line with that we have unlocked or we can now go ahead with the John Bull, which is then the first real upgrade to my locomotives, um, which is going to take a while still, but we are getting there and I would really rush for my uh, tier 2 locomotive there because let's face it, the grasshopper, as cute as this train is, is also yeah, not not the best one that, that you can have to transport people and fright. Now we have business to do. I would like to continue with my expansion. We have New York, Albany activated right now. Next up, I would like to go down here to the south or, well, southwest. We do have this still in our in our area, right? I don't need to purchase anything here. Like in the mid-Atlantic state, I would need to purchase a, a license to, to unlock this area for 175,000, which is a lot, to be honest. Um, I could just also go to the next city, Syracuse, that is also producing beer. We get lots of beer production. Look at that. Albany, Syracuse, and Buffalo all produce beer. Uh, yeah, we could specialize into beer, of course. New York does not produce beer. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and build us that. We have grain. Now, beer productions need a grain, as we know, right? So we got um, beer down here. This is consuming grain. The same goes with buff, uh, with Syracuse, right? So we can kind of like combine all of this into one line. I would like to do this. We do need for that two train stations. Let's just see how we can make that work. Um, probably, yeah, by probably making a station somewhere here, right? So we keep the distance short between the two of them. That's pretty important, while still having that that weed in. Uh, I'm probably not going to need more than two tracks for this system here, right? So let's go ahead and get us this somehow like that. There you go. And then I would like to build one down here in Syracuse, and for this we definitely will need more tracks again. So down to Buffalo is my next expansion for this, so let's make it like so. We need to have it in the green circle. To be within the city range there you go the city also grew with that obviously and yeah we can go ahead then and continue with the construction the stations themselves they don't really cost us that much right so it's going to be a no-brainer the tracks however are going to be another level so let's just see how we can make this work without having to pay a million on it um definitely want to retain the max speed level just because we are going to have some locomotives code at some point that they're going to be max speed and then we're going up here. And as we can see, there's a 5% slope. And also, we can still retain the... Or, yeah, keep the max speed level. There you go. By the way, this is now... This is not going to work. Uh, we are going to need to move it to this area there. If I want to make this one right. This is all costing us 166,000 now. Let's build it. And, of course, the parallel track as well. Right? So, having it in both ways. And then we continue onwards to Albany, of course. Let's go up here. Let's just see how we can make this work. Once again, let's keep everything here and... This can work. It's not really looking nice there, right? Oh, with that we can't keep the... I would really like to, to have max speed as long as possible. This is looking great. With that, we have it, though it is more expensive because we do have a bridge and also a very, st yeah, 
a very big elevation but we can keep the max speed and i think this is more profitable in the future let's go ahead and do this and have the second one that only costs me then 40k um for that endeavor very good with that we have albany connected with a green farm with zero cruise both of them connected with one green farm um next up on the line of course another supply tower mm, we, uh, one is enough really let's just have one here somewhere um, no maintenance for now. We probably will need to do some maintenance again soon, but that's for somewhere else. That's not for this area. And that's, yeah. Oh, yeah. A grid iron, of course. We need to exchange tracks there. Here. And also one down here in Syracuse. We don't need one for Smith and Smith Rest, as it's called. And let's also make sure that we have this one going up and this one going down. And the same goes with that area. Right, so those locomotives take the right tracks back and forth. And then I just need to really create the train line. Albany, Smith Rest, and Syracuse. And then on its way back home again. It's not going to be an express train yet. Some of you might suggest I have the express train bonus. Of course I should go with that. However, we rather should combine it uh, right now because we can't get the trains full, right? So... Um, my, my trains, my passenger trains from t New York to Albany, they're only half full, if at all, right? So we need to grow these cities first, and then we can make use of the, the express train. Because look at that, there's only one passenger wagon and one mail wagon going uh, into one direction. That is not enough, right? The 10% the increase in ticket prices is, is horrible when you consider that the train is then not even full and probably costs more maintenance than the ticket prices. So we want to get them as full as possible, and for that reason, we're not going with specialized trains at this point. Now we have it, um, and yeah, let's accept. And with that, we have another train line, a pretty big one, a pretty expensive one, that is. And there it is, on its way now, another grasshopper. Just give them, please, a roof or something like that. Horrible. <laughs> no, no weather protection. Yeah, as we can see, this one is filling up quite nicely with at least two passengers and one male back. It's going to be then stopping in Smith Rest. And there it's coming in. It should load some grain now. There it is. Perfect. And that's why I love my mixed trains for the moment. Because you can just make them full. And this grain is very much needed then for the beer production in Syracuse. While we follow the train, we can also just move through it, more or less. And there's actually people sitting in them. Thinking about their lives. On their way down to Syracuse. This was a male. Oh, very cool. I like that. There's an interior of the wagons. And you could just drive along. Watching the countryside go by. And then we have still the green. And over there, we can already see the final station. And without any incidents, no cowboys attacking us, we arrived and are in for the profit. Uh, while this one is unloading, I would like to add a second train to this one right away that is now starting up in Albany. We should see some profit now rolling in. There it is. And the train is already loading again with passengers and mailbags. Ah, this is actually, yeah, getting half full there. I'm surprised at that. Off it goes. It will then take some green again in Smith Rest and continues to Albany. In Albany, meantime, the next train leaves. Very good. With that, this train is also completed. For now, at least. Now, using what we've learned already, I would like to get rid of my first line, actually. That is this one here, this grasshopper there. We don't need this one anymore, right? Clark Station to New York. Let's get, let's get the money. Because we got the train here on this line that is stopping in Clark Station, getting the wool, uh, the, the wool and the, the logs, right, to Albany and New York City. So there's two on them. Um, to compensate for that, we might add a third one, which is no problem, really, um, once I see that it's necessary, right? So these trains, where is my second one? There it is, getting the beer for New York City. 
One thing that we still need after Albany, it should not go to New York City right away, but stop at Clark Station once more. Just so that we, we are clear on the subject that you also get some goods from Clark Station. By the way, we probably should then also change the direction here because this is a bit confusing. There you go. So they can stay on the same track. Now it's a bit cleaner and they don't need to switch tracks at all. And off it goes again. This should also rise our profit if there isn't the occasional breakdown. And as we can see, yeah, my average balance right now is at $13,000. Of course, we want to continue increasing that. Little grasshopper goes too. Very interesting if we want to watch something is in Syracuse, uh, if we look at the passenger transportation, we can now see that the destination for Albany is being reached, but also for New York City, right? So it, take, it takes a while, of course. So that's 18 days to get to New York City, but the train usage per passenger is already at 100%. So we're using the, the, the fullest demand there right now. We are serving that um, from people that want to go to New York from Syracuse, right? So they're going Syracuse, they're going to switch trains in Albany, and they're going then to continue onwards to New York. But one last city that we still have in our territory, that is Buffalo. I would definitely like to expand to this one right away. And we also got some grain and corn close by. Now, Buffalo is also producing beer, so it's going to need the grain. However, there's also corn, and I'm not entirely sure we need corn. But we do need that. It's, it's 0.4 at least, and I'm pretty sure that... Um, Syracuse will also need me some corn then as well. There it is. And also at 0.4. So we can definitely supply both cities with those plantations, stopping in the middle, of course. And yeah, I would like to do this in this train station here once more. Um, something like that should be fine. And then we have one in between. Actually, I think we can have one... Yeah, like that. It's possible. It's a very short route here. For the moment, but at least the train will not have to go out of its way there to get up to a station here. Unfortunately, there's no opening costs anymore, right? Opening bonuses, connection bonuses. And then, of course, we're taking the, the tracks in Syracuse. This is going to get expensive. There is a river in between again. Uh, let's just make sure... Right, that's 130,000, uh, 230,000, sorry. That's really expensive. And we're destroying a road here uh, as well. Is that actually possible? Try to move it a bit. Uh, it's not getting cheaper. But we keep the max speed. There's also no elevation, basically. And at least the roads stay intact. Right, what is this? Is this actually going to happen once I build it? That would be a bit strange. Let's try something else. I'll try to move it a bit further down. Like this. Doesn't really affect the price at all. Ah, alright. Here we need to switch it a bit. Otherwise we lose the max speed. Yeah, it's actually 10,000 cheaper. Let's build it. There you go. And then of course I will need to have a second track on this. Going also then over to... Syracuse. But this is actually too expensive for us. I will need to take a loan. Let's go ahead and do this. Banking. And there we have it. Um, let's go with the... I think with the lowest one because we are finished with that, right? Yeah, let's go ahead with the lowest one. I don't want to pay back that much. The interest rate is 3.7%. So it's the cheapest one out of them as well. Of course, it's also the, the least money, but we should be fine with that. There you go. And then there's still the connection here that we can also make, but that should be really cheap. 26,000, perfect. Of course, we need a second one. What? Why is the second one costing me 76,000? What is happening here? Why is the second one more expensive than the first one? Everything is fine up to this point. And here it costs me 50,000 for this little track there. It doesn't make sense. There's something wrong here. Look at that. It cost me 26,000, but once I make the connection, it cost me 50,000 in addition. 
for ah i need to pay the station platform all right that's also something i haven't Not considered bad. yet another step done and we have finished the task deploy four express trains at the same time interesting all right, I'm not going to open up another platform here. And this is the end station anyway, right? So what we're doing is we are actually just going to let this one enter that first line there, right? So that's it. That we have at least um, a separation. But I haven't considered this one yet. Of course, the platforms do cost me quite a bit of money too. All right, let's make a, a grid iron here somewhere. This doesn't cost me anything at all, fortunately. And in Buffalo, we don't need that, so that's fine. And then I just need a supply tower somewhere in between once more. This will cost me yeah, a lot. Should we really build one? Let's not build one now. And rail length of over 1,200 kilometers has been reached by us. In this latest newspaper edition. Let's go ahead and build the rail, rail line. Uh, yeah, sorry, one more thing is the direction. So once again, just making sure that those trains take the right tracks. Not interfere with each other, that's it. Now we can do this. Buffalo, Robinson Rest to Syracuse and back again, Robinson Rest, Buffalo. Let's create the first one and it's going to cost me 26,000. So if we wait a bit, we should be able to afford a second one on this line right away. With that, Buffalo is also now part of my railway system. And this is probably the, the fullest passenger train that I've had so far. Three full wagons. Ah, the, the third one is not really full. Fifteen are in it, but that's still fine. Also, once again, picking up the corn in Robinson Rest. And continues its journey now to Syracuse. So what we should also be seeing now is that in Buffalo Station here, those people, they want to go to Albany via Syracuse, right? And they want to go to New York City via Syracuse. And all railway companies are now allowed to buy shares from each other. Make sure your competitors aren't growing in value faster than your company or you could be bought out. So this is the bit of competition here. Yeah, so we can reach quite a lot of destinations now for these cities. I mean, it, it takes time, of course, but I think we're still faster than your average horse cart. And as the train comes into Syracuse, fully loaded, um, we have the money for another one, right? So let's add a second train to this and also accept. So in Buffalo, a second train is now starting its journey as well. And that was quite the profit here. Yeah, and by now the profit is growing really quickly. We're going to towards uh, $30,000 per month. I could just check real quick what of my lines are the most profitable one. Albany Syracuse is my most profitable one, this one here. Um, my least profitable one is New York Clark Station. That is mostly because of this area that is very steep, right? So it, it goes up here pretty hard and the trains are, ra are rather slow. Um, we could, of course, speed it up by connecting New York City with... Um, Albany directly, um, that would be very expensive though. So for now, let's keep it with a bit of a low pro uh, low profit. Um, that's the only thing I can do really. And hopefully better trains will make faster transportation than possible, better locomotives, right? We might also just edit this line then a bit uh, to our good. We can also have a look at the, the flow of goods, which is uh, really interesting, I think. So we can see where things are going from one city, right? So Albany, as we can see, has a connection with quite a lot of cities in its area. Um, and we can also see that the train utilization here is at 18%, so there's still room for growth, obviously. And we can also click on a specific goods to see the consumption rates. So, For example, this green from here produces 2.8 uh, grain, I think, per week. 
and yep, it's per week. And in Albany we have 1.2, in Syracuse we have 1.2, and that means that we can supply both cities with one grain farm. There is an auction on a tack for the train whistle. Ticket prices for passengers 5% increase. How can they afford this? Are they not investing? Of course you can take this if you like to. I don't care about 5% ticket prices at the moment. Do I lose the tack with that? No, we can still research it, right? So that's still fine. Um, that was this guy here, so he he's also slowly expanding now. Right, getting here some milk and sugar, cows, and he's focusing around Montgomery and my other competitor up here in Eugene, Portland, and Gold Beach, also expanding now to three cities. Yeah, so I think we're rather in the middle there. I mean, we have four cities actually connected at this point, and the profit is rolling in. $42,000 per week right now. And I'm pretty happy with what we have. <laughs> and we continue onwards in the next episode with hopefully unlocking a new locomotive. Boy, it's time. Stay tuned.